Hello everybody, my name is Ons and today we're gonna start a new series in which we will react to some TLC videos. So what happened was, I was I was simply just scrolling around, you know, scrolling around into the uh, vast depths of YouTube and I found this TLC account in which there are some extremely crazy stories and I just simply couldn't stop but to share with you because it's, it's, it's mind-blowing what's been happening there. So imagine, so this video that you are gonna watch right now, it's it's called uh, The Sex Got Me to the ER. It's like, sex can't wait, sex sent me to the ER. So I've, I've just read uh, through a few comments. Yeah, that's all, just read to, through a few comments. And I didn't saw the video yet, but it just blew my mind. Okay, so let's see the video. When our relationship blossomed he was in houston and i was in los angeles it was probably about so imagine that that these things already happened yeah so imagine that these things already happened they are just recreating moments seven right now months or so six or seven months because we lived in different cities well i was really excited that he was coming so it was like counting down the weeks baby damn <laughs> have a shot she was just really so imagine this is like shooting a porn or something imagine they were everything the all this stuff already happened yeah this stuff already happened and they are like oh baby oh baby you look damn fine baby why are so bloody? and this thing got into the er so they are just recreating it or maybe it's all fake but still baby damn, Have a shot. Baby, damn. <laughs> what the fuck <sighs> She was just really open and honest and fun and a risk taker with me. So I was, that's, I love it. Listen, baby, baby, I'm so sorry, but my aunt is here. I smell a threesome. I smell a threesome. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? Listen, baby, baby, I'm so sorry, but my aunt is here. I drove out here with my aunt. Is that soon? <laughs> Cause that's normal, boys. You want to go meet a girl, you know, do something. I'm gonna bring my aunt. I'm gonna bring my aunt with me. Cause yeah, th this stuff happens. Of course, this stuff happens. Oh my gosh! Like, why? I thought you were gonna have a separate hotel room. Like, what are you doing? You know, it's supposed to be welcome home, welcome home. You know. So how are you, dear? How's work? Ah, uh, I'm. <laughs> Great, great. Works good. Busy. That's good. Busy's good. But I'm gonna take a nap. That's a great idea. Yeah, you know what? If you, that's fine. You change we'll your mind. Right you out of your way. Or anything, yeah, you no know, problem. Got my cell phone number. Um, we'll be right back. I mean, I love you. You know. You look. Yeah. <laughs> We eventually found this closet. I guess it was kind of like a janitor's closet or something, but so it was like this space about like this big. Let's do this. And you no, know, we looked around, didn't see anybody, and you know. Imagine that mom, you know, with a kid. She had to put, because it's fake, it's all a recreation of what happened. Imagine she had to go with her kid. Like, imagine she had to go with her kid and then explain what was all those sounds. Or, or maybe, maybe he, the kid already knows. Maybe. Well, it's still, it's still. that the mom gave her gave them the looks that the mom gave them like fucking hell man fucking hell let's watch it again <laughs> they know they know <laughs> you okay yeah yeah i'll be fine i was walking okay right after but then i still did feel weird but i was like all happy and stuff, so I didn't want to really address it. Mm -mm. She's like, so that's walking okay, yeah? Walking stiff. Like something's down there, you know, like it just, it was very uncomfortable feeling. Freaked out, Bashad. You take a look at it. What's wrong? What? So, did, 
did she just ask him to take a look at her uh, vagina? Does this stuff happen? Because... Well, I, I had my... I have plenty of vagina until now. But never happened to me to just... Could you take a look at it? It's, this stuff never happened. Um, and no, I'm not, I don't have a small dick. No. It's... Tell me! What? Um... It was like... Her vagina, it was like... Flipped inside out. But you know what? It's a... It's a what the fuck? It was... What the fuck? God damn it! But how? How... How is this even possible? It's okay, baby. Just relax. You're gonna be alright. Easy for you to say. It's just one. Well, maybe we can put some... I don't know, like ice on it? Ice? <laughs> ice! To put ice on it! Yeah, cause everybody knows something breaks, something is wrong with you. You always have to put ice. Oh, wait! I just shut... I just shut half of my colon. Yeah, I am gonna put some ice on it. Definitely gonna solve this problem. Definitely gonna solve this problem. God fucking damn it. How is this how is he so stupid? Like how how is this even possible? That's ridiculous. I'm not putting ice on it. Think something else. Maybe anytime anything's swollen, you put ice on it. Exactly! You wanna go to the hospital? Exactly what I've said! Exactly what I said! <laughs> God damn it. So I was like, if you don't wanna put ice on it, like do you feel you need to go to the hospital, you know? Yes. Hospital. Hi, Sion. I'm Dr. Barrett. Hi. So you started feeling there was some pain uh, soon after intercourse? Yeah. It was just a little uncomfortable at first, but it just kept getting worse. This might be a little bit cold. We could possibly see some small lacerations. Hopefully none have to be sewn. It looks like it's a severe case of vaginal ecchymosis. What does that even mean? There's just some minor tearing and, and a little bit of swelling. Tearing? Just my so basically, he was like too big for her, right? Because tearing, it's, it, it can occur, to my knowledge, I think, only when she is not lubricated enough, or maybe when she is not aroused by him. Maybe because I'm pretty sure that only in rape cases things like this happen. Because yeah, then, then the woman is not ready for it. Or maybe I don't know. Maybe he's just huge. Maybe he's like my forearm right here. He's he's goddamn huge. God knows. God knows. Maybe God blessed him. Maybe God blessed him. Minor tearing. Likely due to the time between sex. Most importantly, no sex for two weeks. Which will allow for the swelling to come down and give you a chance to heal down there. Um, sorry, did you say two weeks? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's the problem. Not that his penis fucking broke her vagina, but now the problem is that... Wait, I cannot have sex for two weeks? Not for... Okay, yeah, I guess... This can't continue anymore. Yeah, I'm going. Like, what the fuck, man? What the fuck? Remember, I said. Well, I did tell you about the ice. So <laughs> he was right. He was right about the ice. God damn! I was also wrong. I guess. I, I I was also wrong. Yeah. Well, it is what it is, boys. It is what it is. There's your ice. <laughs> oh God! Fucking damn it! Yeah. So uh. It's actually crazy that things like this happen. Imagine how embarrassed you can feel going into the ER saying that I just had sex and well now, uh, I guess my, my vagina it's, it's inside out. Like, how can you explain this to a doctor? It's, it's, uh, it's crazy. It's crazy, it's crazy, it's crazy. It's goddamn crazy. God damn it, boys. Okay, so I guess things like this could happen. Uh, this is gonna be a shorter video. I'm sorry for this. Next time you're gonna react to more videos. Uh, this is just kind of a test. Until next time, don't forget, share, like and subscribe. And I'll see you next videos. Bye-bye.